how are you? This is Leslie from Scrap and Life Away, and I am here to do the August Explorations of Me that was started by Sleeping Science Utter. And this month, the prompt is, do you have a unique collection? And if you do, what is it? Well, I do have a collection, but it's not readily available, meaning I can't get my hands on it. It's um, put away at the moment. But that doesn't mean I can't journal about it. So, yes, this is, um, I'm doing some painting here. And I'm using, um, I won't turn it upside down. I'm using Delusions paint. And I will link below um, the colors that I have used. That might be a little too yellow. Orange, I should say, sorry. So anyway, yes, I do have a collection and I also, um, most people who know me will have a pretty good idea of what that collection is because it's in all my videos. So if you watch my videos, you'll know what it is. Right now I'm just kind of going to spread this a little bit there. That's better. I like that. That looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Just a tad of the green. Just a little bit. Kind of makes a little bit of mud, doesn't it? That's all right. Because I'm really looking more for this color here. Blue. So I hope you all have had a great summer. My summer's gone by kind of fast for me. Which I hate. I'm already back in school. We went back on August 1st. Which is early, early, early. I enjoy my breaks though, so it's kind of like a double-edged sword. No, it's like you really enjoy your breaks, but you have to go back to school so daggum early. And that's the one thing I hate. Right now, I'm going to do some work on blending here because this looks terrible. So, how was your summer? Did you have a good one? And what are you? What are your collections? I'd be interested to know that. Everybody kind of collects something. I know. Uh, I know what I enjoy collecting. Which I'm just gonna come out and say, it. yes, it's butterflies. I actually have a collection that was given to me by a very dear, wonderful friend of mine. And uh, something that I'll cherish forever. And they're actually her grandmother's. But they're ceramic butterflies that, um, given to her. Um, they were her grandmothers. 
were they her mother's? They were her mother's or her grandmother's. I don't remember. But she had them in a closet. And they were in a box. And she knew how much, um, how much I loved butterflies. And butterflies have a very special meaning to me. They, they remind me of my dad. Um. I remember the day of his funeral, the, the cemetery was just filled with butterflies. And they were yellow butterflies. So it's like butterflies and bluebirds are kind of the kind of the thing for me, but mostly butterflies because they start out as a caterpillar and then they change which I think is really kind of cool I like it I just want to blend this to how I like it or where I want it or where I think it's done don't worry this isn't finished <laughs> oh no she's made a muddy mess First of all, I just want to say something right now. If you make a muddy mess, who really cares? It's paper. Okay? It's paper. I don't want that one. If you make a muddy mess, you make a muddy mess. That's why they invented just so. <laughs> you know? You know what I'm saying? Number one, you can either A, tear the page out, or two, um, you know, just just over it. That's all you really need to do. And I'm just going to keep reworking this and reworking this until I'm happy with it. I guess I want that to be really yellow in my center. I'm going to start branching it out here. Do you guys have a collection that is near and dear to your heart? I'm lucky that I have, you know, a really great group of friends that, um, you know, we just kind of share things back and forth and, um, one of the things was, um, we had taken care of a friend of ours who had terminal cancer and uh, when she passed her sister said here there's uh, here's two gold butterflies that Susie would have wanted you to have because she knows your love of butterflies and she understood the meaning behind them for me so I have those two. And I probably should display them. But I'm slowly getting there. I'm slowly getting there. Almost done. All right, I think we're almost there. Oh, making a mess here. Okay. 
Sorry, I don't mean to be so quiet. I just kind of put myself, I just get into my thought process. I get into my creating. Such a good, good way to rest and relax. Hear my tummy growl? Good grief. Still just blending those colors out. And I like it when I kind of do a circular motion on it because it adds some texture. Kind of gives it a, oops, just a different kind of feel to it. I do have a tendency to go through a lot of um, a lot of sponges, but that's all right because I wash them. You know what? And they're just makeup sponges um, that I get at the dollar store, or you can also get them. Um, you can get them at Walmart. Um, you can get them at the dollar store. Um, I do have some um, some of my subscribers. Um, and viewers that may not be able to do that. So um, I will have a link below to where you can um, get a large amount of these rather inexpensively um, by ordering them online. Okay. I think, yeah, I think that's going to about do it. All right, I am going to let this dry. We'll be back. All right, well, I've lightened this up a little bit with some, some white paint with my blue because I just thought that blue was a little bit too dark. But now what I'm going to do is make a little bit of a mess. I'm going to add some splatters. And the way I do that is I take some white paint and put it on my mat and take my mini mister with some white with some water in it and mix it with that white paint. And I, what I want to do, I'm going to grab just a piece of not much. I'm just going to splatter. And it makes it look like clouds or stars or whatever. I'm trying not to get it into my Sun, so I can I'll put a few little ones there. Let's break up that blue. See the less there is on there. Oh, 
looks pretty good. I like that. Okay. I am going to put that in my jug of water that needs to be cleaned. I'm going to clean up my mess here and let this dry and I'll be back. Now, while this was drying, I went ahead and printed out my sentiment. And then after I printed it out, um, and the way I do that actually is I scotch tape tissue paper to um, just plain old computer paper. And then I print it on my printer. Um, but because it's an inkjet printer, it would, um, it would move. And I was fresh out of um, the other stuff that I used to seal this so it won't run. So I'm trying this Spectrafix. Um, so this is the first time I've ever used it. It's supposed to be, you know, for pastel, pencil, charcoal, watercolor, mixed media. Um, so we'll see if it, if it really works. It's supposed to, you know, um, helps hold and maintain chromatic color control. So we'll see how that works. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my watercolor brush. I'm just going to make sure it's wet. And I don't know if you can see this or not. I know a lot of you have seen me do this before. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around my sentence, part of it here. And I'm going to do a line like that so that I have something to pull. Then I'm just going to very carefully tear um, the sentence off here. Sometimes it dries quickly. And the reason I'm tearing it as opposed to cutting it is because when I go to glue the sentiment down, because it's got a ragged edge, it blends in. Um, it just blends in much nice, much more nice. <laughs> Is that even proper English? Don't tell my son he's an English major. <laughs> Your mother can't speak proper English. I try. I try. So I'm going to go ahead and finish um, pulling these out and I'll be back. Okay, I have you in pretty close here. Um, it's really not focusing the way I want it to. See the nice bruise on my hand? <laughs> well, can't say I didn't try, right? All right, so what I'm going to do is pick this up, put some matte medium down, and just put this in it. And then very carefully, so go ahead and do the whole thing. This is one of my favorite quotes. I do not know who wrote it. I don't know who came up with it, but it's one of my favorites. And it's really very true that if nothing ever changed, there would be no butterflies, which goes hand in hand with what I collect. I collect butterflies. Last part of it. Then I have something else to add. And that looks pretty straight. Not that it matters because there's no right or wrong. And then when this dries, it will 
you might see a little bit of the white, but not much. And it's just a really great way of putting a sentiment down onto something. So let me pull you back out a little bit. There you go. All right, and um, the matte medium that I'm using, by the way, is Dale or Rowney, and it's a Simply Acrylic matte medium. But just to let you know, this is my last one, and I cannot find this anywhere. Um, I've gone to the Dale or Rowney website. I've gone everywhere, and it seems like they have just stopped making it. So I would suggest for a matte medium. Um, Golden has a good one. And um, Deco Art has a good one. I wish Deco Art would make a bigger one. Theirs comes in like a four ounce container, um, whereas this is 8.4 ounces. All right, and so here are my butterflies I'm gonna put on here. And these butterflies, um, I punched out of um, painty papers and then um, I think this is an EK success on the bottom and then this part right here is a Sizzix I think I'm not positive but I think so I'm just going to put some matte medium on my floater bugs Put some right here because glue sticks to glue. Stick on down there, baby. Move it over just a tad so it's not hanging off the edge. But as I glue these down, whoo, see they're trying to fly away. I hope that you enjoyed this. This is kind of the second time I've done this project. The first one, I just stamped some butterflies on here. Like, no, I can't do that. <laughs> I need some dimension. It needs some texture. It needs some butterflies with some wings that move. See, like these. <laughs> so I redid it. I just think you need to have something that moves on your page. That's me. That doesn't have to be, you know, for everybody. It just depends what you like. And this is what I like. Yeah, almost done. Poor Cindy, God bless her heart. I'm just, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm so thankful that she has asked me to be part of this group. I swear to God, that poor girl is going to kill me because I'm always late <laughs> in getting things done. Because you know what? I change my mind a lot at the last minute and I redo a lot of things just because sometimes I come up with an idea. I'm like, oh, that's the one I have to, that's the one I have to do. Um, that one tells a better story or whatever, but she's very patient and kind with me. And I, Cindy, I appreciate it. <laughs> it, uh, it means the world to me because I love to share. I love to share, you know, the explorations of me. I think it's so fantastic. I love the, I love the prompts. They, they really cause me to think about you know what makes me tick and then in turn I can ask you what makes you tick so here we go I do believe we're done put that up put that up I'll take this out all that's left now is to Sign and date it. Oh, where do I want to do that? Right here. 
and today's date is the 14th. And this is going to go live in the morning. 8, 14, 18. And there we go. If nothing ever changed, there'd be no butterflies. So that's my project for Explorations of Me for the month of August. Um, so share your collections. Let us know. What do you collect? What's neat about it? For me, it reminds me of my dad. So on that note, I will say thank you very much for watching. Um, please check the description below for the other gals who participate um, in this. Um, and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And when you subscribe, don't forget to hit that little bell because then you'll get notifications of all the videos um, I put out when they go up live on YouTube. So thank you so much again for joining me. And as always, please be nice. It's really not that difficult. Bye-bye, everybody. Thanks for letting me share with you. Thank you.